Hello and welcome to week 13. We are here at South Boston in the street stock for some 13th week street stock. Um, I mean, I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. But uh, had the itch to race and there's not much to race quite yet. We're uh, before the uh, update right now. And so you've essentially got the street stocks or like the uh, winter NIS type stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the oval, paved oval side, so we're gonna see what we can do here. Uh, one moment, I gotta do something real quick. Sorry, I forgot to close my door. Alright, so we're here for qualifying. Um, I'm actually kind of enjoying this, uh, the way this drives here. It's pretty fun to sling it around South Boston at the street stock. Um, I'm very scared for this field, though. Um, I mean, my expectations, you know, they were low from the start. We're taking the street stock on a very, very small track and uh, no cautions. Uh, I just hope I can race long enough, be out here long enough to enjoy Running green, some green, laps. Green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Let's see what happens. It looks like the track might have uh, picked up speed a little bit. One more lap. Yeah, I think so. P2, that lap was a 16.1. Uh, sliding around a little bit, but you can get away with that in Street Stock. Um, I kind of found a little bit of a trick that I found a lot of success with, as it looks like our first lap is going to be the one that counts. I thought it was a pretty good lap, but apparently we're falling behind. Could be five right now and dropping. Um, I found that uh, I moved my brake bias all the way down, and uh, paradoxically, it feels like it's uh, getting less loose on entry the less brake bias. I guess it's because you know, the brakes are less powerful, and so you can be more gentle with it. And uh, so long as I'm not using too much of it, it allows me to kind of use the brakes a little bit more than uh, when the brakes are up front, and it kind of shifts the weight quicker, and it was wanting to pull the car around on me. So that could just be all placebo, and I've just put myself in a bad position, but... <laughs> um, see we are seventh and that was about the best lap i've run the haven't gotten to the 15s yet very close field though look at this yep i mean the parker ritzloff just freaking set a heater <laughs> and made it less close but i mean less than a tenth between second and where is it i don't know sixth or so like it's really close 59 59 oh 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 like that is so close so this could uh be this could be a good race if guys want to actually try to race around each other uh it could be a bad race if guys just want to run into each other which more than likely gonna happen um we have Chad in here, and it looks like he's going to be starting in the row behind us on the inside if these positions hold. Which, uh, I wish I were on the inside, but not looking like it's going to happen unless we get some more times in and uh, faster than us. My expectations are kind of through the ground. Low as can be. But maybe we'll find some fun out of this, and uh, when it eventually bursts into flames then uh well <laughs> at least we can look forward to the oval refresh coming up uh, after the update which is tomorrow as the time of recording this that's when they're going to do all that and update and uh, hopefully that'll be a lot of fun i'll definitely be doing some races checking it out seeing if uh the track really is going to change a little bit with the trip temperature and everything yeah, just uh, as I was talking about the update, Chad's talking about it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to just about everything. It's going to be like getting new tracks, almost, if uh, if it works as intended, because you're going to hopefully get some new lanes to try out. Um, once, say, like the, uh, the one lane that you normally want to use starts getting some temperature and whatnot, then maybe you got to search around a little bit, again, if it's working correctly. And uh, then you'll be running lines that maybe you not can't usually run on iRacing. And that would be a lot of fun. Then you can get some side-by-side, -side, you can get some more movement through the field, more racing. I think that will be awesome. So, hopefully. That's the end of the yeah, in immediate. Uh, like Chad says, I think that will be a place you'll definitely see it a lot. Love to go over to a place like Homestead and see if the top works a little bit you know maybe the bottom i don't know if it's going to wear the tires um like it does now where you don't really want to go to the high line because it kills your tires it might still do that and so you might be reluctant but if it's much faster maybe it's still uh still good who knows we haven't gotten it yet so looks like we'll be starting p8 uh, i guess we'll get on grid but i'm scared <laughs> Oh, and there's no turning back now. You're on the outside this time. Keep running. New session, Close last right lap. We're going to try to survive. Try to get the to the inside, I guess. Three Pretty strong strength of field, but that doesn't mean it's going to be clean. We'll get the fast repair ready. No need for tires. All right. Better get that prepared. So, good luck to Chad. Good luck to everybody, I guess, in the field. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chad's saying he'll, uh, if we can cut down, we can do it, I guess. Don't want to cut him off, but we might have to fight for it, too. I know, I know how, I know how it works. Short track is cutthroat, so... All I want to do is just hopefully get some laps, uh, laps in, don't wreck immediately, or get caught in a wreck immediately, and maybe uh, actually have some fun racing out here before our inevitable doom. Getting started, though. Man, I just, I have this horrible feeling they're going to, like, run into each other in front of us, and we're going to be stuck on the outside lane. The and they won't be able to avoid it, and then the, the people behind are going to start plowing in, and we're just going to get destroyed from all ends. That just sounds like what's going to happen. Follow car number zero one in the outside column. We're very nearly running into each other as we're getting going here. We're going to do a third gear start. It takes uh, it breaks a lot of your momentum shifting in the street stock. And so a lot of times you end up wanting to restart on a higher gear than you might expect. That's what I've learned anyway. And uh, I don't run this very often, so I'm probably full of garbage and don't know what I'm talking about. So uh, don't listen to me, but <laughs> that's what I'm going to do here. Because uh, that's what's felt like it's worked for me in the past. Good luck, everyone. And, uh, well, we'll see if we can see the leader. That would help. Tight corners around here in South Boston, though. Might be hard to see, but we'll get the best jump we can. Get ready. Going green. Okay, Cold Tower is off. Green, green flag. Green, green flag. Not going, I guess. Let's get run over. Inside. Where is this guy going? Top three wide. Right side. Two wide. Stay high. Put oh. the car on the low side. Clear inside. Shoving us Stay through. He takes a three wide into turn one, of course. Clear. Car inside. Oh, Keep they're high. doing things. Things are happening. I'm just gonna wait, be patient on the line. throttle. Oh Jesus. Keep high. Guys running into more guys on the inside. Nowhere for us to go right now. We're kind of just trapped in a box. Oh boy. Three wide. That's not good. Oh. No idea where everybody is. 
16.1. Hold your line. Right side, two wide. Holy eyes. cow. Stay high. That guy's drifting up. Side. Clear. Clear. Alright. We got to the bottom. That guy's spinning. Go below him, I guess. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. He was running into us. Still there, hold your line. Zero car room, I'm gonna slide out of the corner. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay Tires low. are very hot. On a rough time Still ripping there. up right now. Clear high. This guy is not very really good, I'm not very good. This guy's running us over. Everybody's running everybody over. Oh my god. Can I breathe now? The next car is Dretien. I think I can breathe now. There's the other dam. Okay, let my tires maybe get up to temp a little, or back to the right temp. They really heated up after sliding the bunch there. Just let him go. I'm having bad corners. I think he's faster. Whoever's looking faster, and I don't really have a choice anyway if he goes to the inside. Line of guys, I think that are better than me. Still there are a lot of guys line. that just started in the back and wanted to move their way forward. We got space behind him, so I think we're just going to take that. Clear. All right. I guess the good thing about these street stocks is, especially when you're going a little slower, you catch them pretty good when you get hit. So I think a lot of the contact that was had, the guys were able to save it. Now everything's kind of calmed down a little bit. We survived that opening bit. We're in 12th place. About two seconds away from eating a wall. You did, you got me, dumbass. Do it. Not very good, which I kind of knew that already. Short track's not really my thing, but again, not really uh, too many options this week. All right, get around that. There's a cone in the track. There are cars in the track too. The as a matter of fact, but that'll put us in the top ten. There is more carnage happening. No shortage of action here. You can say that for certain. Fourteen's all over the place. Trying to get a grip on it. It's getting real loose out of the corner. I think maybe uh, the rear tires are probably getting more worn out than anything. Probably going to be on the right rear. Levin's catching us. Probably have to let him by. He looks ready to run into us, so maybe we just have to let him do it. Let him by, I mean. Inside. Yeah, he's going inside where we want. Still there, hold your line. Go high. Clear. The next car's the leader. You're up top, three wide. Clear. Alright. That's how you avoid a wreck. You're now in third. Four X, but uh there aren't many people left. By the way, they're still gonna be there when we come around. Down low, down low, down down low. Down low. Go high. Most of the field. Go high. Oh, I don't know where like this guy's Flow going. All right, cool. Tires. Thanks, man. Car Flow car down low. What a car disaster. Go high. Go low. Go low. Go low. Go low. What a You're disaster, man. Okay, cool. That's the entire field. I think I'm in last right now. With people running, and I'm in third. Uh huh. 
you know, I just kind of glued myself to the wall and I'm like, you know what, I've guaranteed there's one side a car can't hit me from. Unless they're going to burst through the outside wall, so... Uh, thankfully that didn't happen. Not doing NASCAR rumble here. Breaking through the... <laughs> the track limits. Anyone remember that game, NASCAR rumble? I played that a lot when I was a kid. They had that opening, like, movie. Where they're, like, racing on the track and then they break out of the track and they start racing on the roads outside and then there's tornadoes and bombs and whatever <laughs> arcade racing game stuff was going on there. That was a fun game. I spent a lot of time in that. But uh, thankfully, P3. no cars emerging from the wall, and uh, we'll take the 4X, but just happy to be alive right now. So I can be slow and uh, live in peace, I guess. Of course, this thing's not over yet. We're barely past halfway. Hilariously. And this thing is, uh, this thing's loose. It's really getting on the right rear. Wish I had known that. I might have approached the corners differently from the start. Maybe been kinder to the rear tires from the start. But I think we're managing. We're not going to beat the two guys ahead. They're faster than I am. I'm very lucky I didn't get plowed into from behind. I just assumed that was going to happen in a race without cautions. Usually when you stop for a wreck in a race without cautions, then you're just asking to get absolutely destroyed by the Arca breakers. But hey, I guess this isn't Arca, right? This is Street Stocks. Everybody uses their brakes in Street Stocks, right? Totally. So, okay, hey, maybe these uh, the two leaders will run into each other or something. I don't think the I don't think that's the leader up there though. Yeah, the five is the second place car. The guy between us is a uh, a lap car. Don't know where the leader is, but uh, probably long gone. <laughs> Great job, dead to go. Well, the. I think the only way I was going to finish on podium here is if the entire field wrecked. And uh, that's pretty much what happened. Lap car spinning up ahead. I wish that the uh, other new update, a, where uh, short seven. tracks count uh, for two, you know, through one and two would be two uh, corners. That's another update coming. Helps out uh, the guys that run short tracks. Everybody that runs short tracks to, to uh, better even out the uh, safety rating gains and losses. That would come in handy right now with our 6X. But we'll uh, we'll take the hit. Uh-oh. It's almost deploying the smoke screen. Okay, we're good. Wacky racers up here dropping smoke bombs. I didn't get to watch that show too much uh, growing up. It was on Boomerang Channel, if you ever watched that, where it would play older cartoons. But I liked it. I, I liked watching that. That was funny. The wacky racers. Yeah, me too. Kind of well, we've got four to go. To I've actually been catching up to the five. I haven't been paying attention at all. I didn't even realize it was happening. Yep. I don't think we're going to be able to pass him, even if he maybe he's off pace. He's clearly much better than I am. Two more, hey, Chad, let's maybe go. Maybe move out of the way when you get past my lap, guys. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. That lap time was 16.6. Trying to push a little bit, see if I can catch him, but it's not happening. I think I was only catching him because I wasn't paying attention. 
as soon as I start paying attention, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, I have a chance. That's when I stop catching him. What the fuck are you doing? To go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Here we go. Last corner. Slow car down low. Slow car ahead. Slow car ahead. Finish. Nice one. Check it flag. Check it flag. Uh, I'd say good race, but I don't know about that. <laughs> Huh. Well, three cars finished on the lead lap. We, by some divine intervention, were one of them. We're gonna have to take a look at that. Uh, we'll go. We'll go see what happened out here. Um. Yeah. Ah, oh, Chad's gone. <laughs> I was gonna say. My expectations were low, but wow. They were chattering on the on the voice chat a little bit, but I wasn't paying attention. Whatever they were talking about, I figure someone's mad at somebody. It's short track racing. As long as it doesn't involve me, I guess we're okay. So the weird start, and then the nine starts shoving me into the corner, and then taking me three wide, and then immediately gets hit. Man, this this was something. So, lap five, nine's gonna start spinning it. That's when we got to his inside again. And then uh, it turns down into us a little bit. I was kind of stinking too, though. I, I was having to turn the wheel more to keep it low on exit, and that was very, very tough to keep it from breaking loose like that. Um, what do we have here? Me getting loose for the twentieth time. I stink. Um, I start just plowing into us. Seven. Just flat footing it looks like. Everyone <laughs> just stepping on each other's toes. Forget elbows out. This is like I don't know. Get your uh, brass knuckles out and just start swinging. So, lap 14. Is this the big wreck? Okay, the 6 just absolutely destroys the 14 on entry. It's like he doesn't even break. So he just smashes into him and then right hooks it into the wall. So he destroys the wall, and then they just start piling in. The 8 gets turned. Was this the big wreck? This might not even have been the big wreck. We had so many wrecks. This wasn't the big wreck. This was the prequel. This wasn't the greatest wreck of all time. This was just a tribute. 14 gets loose. 17 looks outside. They somehow survived that for now. So the leader gets hit, sent all the way up the track. Kind of like stabbing his brakes. Still get hit some more. One's trying to prevent him from slamming him into the corner by uh, not getting too much distance, but uh, this is what happens instead. Oh my god, that's just about the worst place for this to happen too. So, them slamming into each other. Gets him sideways, he can't save it from there. Comes down and gets the 12, collects the 9, who gets turned by the 4, and they're all heading toward that wall that just so happens to funnel everybody back to the track. So, that's immediately a blocked racetrack. And I guess we'll just look at how we got through it. We'll do a little slow-mo here as this thing just happens. So everybody's in it. I'm hitting my brakes. A novel concept. Uh, 16 tried to come get me, but uh, we just kind of toothpaste our way through. We are the uh, toothpaste, and uh, the other cars, and the wall are the tube. So we just kind of swoops right in. <laughs> and make it on through. 
And uh, the rest of the field, there's nowhere to go. The one's doing donuts. Guys, getting it going because there are no yellows. This man just likes to watch the world burn. And uh, everyone's kind of trying to figure it out, rear ending each other. Oh, that was Chad. What was Chad's adventure through this one? There's going to be absolutely nowhere for him to go. Just literally completely blocked track. Like, what is he to do here? I think he took maybe the best option there. There was a tiny little opening, but, like, it's literally blocked. No option for him whatsoever. So, everyone's just kind of waiting. We're coming around again not too long from now. Here's the leader coming through as they're still figuring it out. Driving through the parking lot. P2 coming in. And now it's starting to clear up just a little bit. And then we got this guy just uh, parking in the middle of the track. I'm sure. I don't blame him, though. Um, or her. It looks like her, actually. Uh, I don't blame her, though, because they are uh, they probably didn't know that their car was completely broken. And so they tried to turn. And then uh, no turn. No turn to be had. So instead, we just kind of have to go around the outside. And unfortunately, that's a 2x, which seems kind of dumb. But whatever. Uh, I'll take it. As long as we uh, don't get more damage. And uh, they're wrecking again up here somehow. Because they just haven't had enough. Oh my god. Is this like another track blocker happening up here? So these guys have no turn. They're trying to get around. 14's just... <laughs> what a disaster, man. The 14's trying to Ross Chastain it around, uh, but the uh, wall is not consistent, so he just bounces off. So we've got a little bit of the uh, dun 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 as people go through the corners. Crowd's loving it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, so. We're on to lap 27. Pretty much everybody's out of the race. Got a couple more people out here, though. Those who are left over after the rapture. Some uh, contact still. Some people got their new cars, it looks like. We did have the fast repair. And uh, we got some guys <laughs> dinging up their uh, backup car. 15's too low off the corner, it looks like. Just about hooks the 14, and then turning down into the 7, who is trying to come through, and then probably mad <laughs> running up into him. 15's going to dump the 7. <laughs> Good stuff, man. And uh, this is a bald man's head. So that will do it. Uh, I don't think I can say anything else, uh, anything more than what we've seen here. I think you get the idea. We're going to look at the race results page, because this was an official reminder. This was an official race. Also a reminder, 3,768 strength of field. <laughs> the jokes write themselves. Uh, 35 I rating gain for us, and look, we're such good boys that we've still got an A499 after 6X. No 0Xs in the field. Not a single ounce. Um, that was a good one. That was a good one. Thank you for watching. I hope you, uh, found some enjoyment out of that. I did. You know what? I had some fun. Uh, I probably would have had less fun if I finished down here because of all the wrecking, but I finished up here because of all the wrecking, so that makes me feel better. But, uh, hey, week 13, you know what you sign up for, so that will do it for this one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll be back for some more stuff soon, uh, maybe even after we get that update in. Check out some mobile refresh and stuff. That'll be awesome. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.